Welcome everyone to the Windows portion of this week's Broken IT. Starting with beware the GIF, a GIF account takeover vulnerability in Microsoft Teams. Like seriously, 2020 account takeover with GIF. You can't make this stuff up. More business conduct uh, conducted from remote resources. Attackers are forcing their, uh, focusing their efforts to exploiting their T technologies like Zoom of all the previous live streams and now Microsoft Teams. That companies and their employees depend on to stay connected. They found that the leverage subdomain takeover vulnerability in Microsoft Teams attackers could have used a malicious GIF or GIF to scrape users data and ultimate, uh, ultimately take over an organization, entire rosters of team accounts, since users would have to share the GIF, uh, just see it, wouldn't, wouldn't have to share the GIF, just see it to be impacted uh, vulnerability like this have the ability to spread automatically. It's like seriously, what is wrong with companies? But yeah, not, not surprised here and welcome everyone. Uh, there at home, not surprised of this and why I constantly say C and similar languages buffer over underruns and pointer dereference and uh, similar stuff. Um, it's hilarious. It can't take over. I, I have actually no words, but yeah. So uh, beware what you're using um, and maybe even like cubes, one, one virtual machine for each task because yeah, everything can be hacked left and right, although it doesn't help you much, of course, even cubes, um, cube OS and similar virtual machines do not even help you losing your account, but maybe using a Microsoft Teams account, not the best thing to start with anyway. And uh, also for the recurring audience who are not as tech safety, as, as simple as a manipulated image can lead to such vulnerabilities to take over accounts, to break your browser, to Hack your operating system. In similar news, Trojan Asnerek also <coughs> targets firewalls, customized malware used to compromise physical and virtual firewalls. And um, yeah, so Zophos, uh, Zophos uh, customers were victims of a coordinated attack by an unknown adversary attack reveals a previous unknown SQL injection vulnerability, yeah, recurring theme here. SQL injection, of course, meaning putting SQL in payloads of input of web services or firewalls, where you like username, password and stuff. And this is code not written in Secure This was very old fashioned, directly evaluating this, including the SQL, so that if you have some database select of SQL database, select with this stuff, uh, not escaped and so on, uh, directly evaluated, being able to f insert data in uh, simple SQL select and other things like that, just to make you some efforts to describe the technology there at work a little bit for those who are new to this. So yeah, 2020 SQL injection in <laughs> freaking firewall, can't make this stuff up. Um, Remote code execution on some of Sophos firewall products. No shit, Sherlock can't make this shit, can't make this stuff up. As described, their vulnerability has since been remediated. Now, uh, after it was used on Sophos and the customers, their uh, victims in the wild. And how the attack began, I think it was even pre or so this is um, started discovered and exploited a zero day SQL and the, uh, SQL and Injection remote code execution vulnerability. The exploit of the vulnerability resulted in attackers being able to insert a one line command into the database table, just as I tried to explain there. Um, and the initial injected command triggered an affected device to download an S Linux shell script named install sh from a remote server. So, yeah, just running Linux doesn't make you any more secure if you have SQL injection pre-auth before password authentication even and just install your nice remote backdoor code there. Um, certainly any operating system doesn't help you with that. And uh, the command also wrote a shell script to the temp directory on the device, used the change my program to designate, yeah, not really here. Yeah. 
no surprise there. Script written to the appliance as x.shell, run a series of SQL commands and dropped additional files into the virtual file system to lay the groundwork of the and so on. So yeah, firewall attacks, stages and artifacts. And um, I think it was pre-auth, let's see. So yeah, a lot of technical, um, let's uh, auth of, no, but anyway, I think it, I think I read somewhere, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it is pre-auth, meaning you don't need to be author, authentic, authenticated um, even before login and so on any other remote user like injectors in the user or password field or whatever. In similar news exploiting almost every antivirus software because the recurring theme here, Snake Oil of installed some uh, huge untrusted code base of questionable code quality, recurring theme here, nearly each week's IT news here. And uh, yeah, of questionable C++, C++ C++ quality with string compare and, and whatnot there of all the not recommended code patterns and um, this is why I not only recurrently call it snake oil but also uh, suggest not to trust such large code bases in your trusted computing base there of antivirus software is supposed to protect you from malicious threats but what uh, but what if that protection could be silently disabled before the threat like uh, previously SQL injection right and neutralized what if, yeah, what if, yada, 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 a method of exploration. So they tested here, most anterior software works in a similar fashion and they had here impact, it's not good, they tested across Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Well, it's the same garbage snake or antivirus anyway, right? Um, able to easily delete important files related to the antivirus software that rendered it ineffective and even delete key components of the operating system that would cause significant corruption required a full reinstall of the earth when targeting windows they were only able to delete files they were not currently in use however yes this is also yeah windows can't delete files that are in use because now nah, e busy extremely easy to exploit they write here allegedly um, make no mistake about it exploiting this flow where pretty tribal seasoned malware authors will have no problem weaponizing the tactics outlined in this blog post, proof of concept there of yeah, whatever. Too long for this video, but text, proof of concept, whatever you get the idea. Speaking about, yes, sell me this stuff because blue screens also, um, Windows update, the recurring theme of Windows update causing more harm than good. Um, I have it in my Windows virtual machines recurrently not being able to update. Maybe I should start them more often than every 14 days, but also here for other people, Windows 10 update would you like to delete files and blue screens with that recurring theme of Windows updates broken. It's like, yeah, can't, I, I don't know what is so difficult to deliver a stale update experience, but apparently um, 30 years of experience at Microsoft, not enough to deliver updates in a stable and sophisticated manner. User complaints of blue screens of death, deleted files and reboot loops there with the latest update allegedly here. A lot of truth, uh, Microsoft only knows this too well. Windows 10 now installs more than a million devices. Patch Tuesday problems unravel. April's 14th Patch Tuesday includes five fixes for a total of 133, 133 vulnerabilities. So if you're, if you're thinking I over, uh, over sell this here or whatever, whatever, no, there are so many vulnerabilities, 133 vulnerabilities. I don't even usually showcast here uh, Windows vulnerabilities because yeah, it's, we only have so many minutes each week, but yeah, so much to Windows update, you probably want to update it. So yeah, you probably want to update for 133 vulnerabilities, but you might get deleted files and blue screens of this, including seven critical security flaws in Windows 10, said the, Users need to take the fixing of security vulnerabilities very seriously indeed. Yeah, recurring theme here on this channel. And uh, 14 weaponized vulnerabilities of apparently already attacks out in the world, apparently, or something. The trouble for some KB4549951. And bugs there seem to be with one cumulative, cumulative security fix applies to all Windows 10 versions. The security vulnerability in question is a denial of service one CVE 2020 
0.0094, but only impacts users with some detection or whatever. Keep calm, don't panic. Yeah, if your Windows doesn't panic. Anyway, so yeah, apparently some people, as per usual, some people get problems uh, as, as yeah, with, with billions of installed devices in the code, C code base of let's randomly change stuff. Speaking about randomly change stuff on the Windows and Intel news front there, here on this Chinese site, site allegedly there is some screenshot of Intel apparently of all the bugs and features on Intel side. They can't even get Ethernet correct of can they can Intel do processes without vulnerabilities all the many previous videos. But the latest issue apparently 2.5 gigabit Ethernet here IEEE standard for 2.5 based T operation. So apparently they implemented this wrong and depending on some pause links here, some updated assessment, uh, they continue to evaluate the IPG variance testing and analysis. But apparently depending on what router you are using, so you're connecting it wrong. So depending on your router um, of the negotiation of pause time here of uh, this, on the packet, so apparently some pause timing of 12, 7 or 5 or something bytes. And so depending what negotiates, if this is compatible or not, this might drop back to not even one gigabit, but apparently even allegedly up to down to 10 uh, mbits or something. Um, so allegedly I read on another new site, maybe not on this Chinese here, whatever, and certainly a brave new world for IT news coming out of China. Um, so probably we all need in second language Chinese here for the next years to come. But I, I think I read somewhere that the uh, Chinese OEMs there of uh, ASOS tech and stuff, they, I think they wrote somewhere, but don't quote me on that, that they do not want to ship this revision and only revision two of this Intel uh, chipset here should make it into the wild. So probably uh, 2020, you need to check your uh, Ethernet silicon revision if whether you have some Un implementation undef not not matching to the specification post bind support and to reach the highest 2.5 gigabit Ethernet speed. Speaking about um, our stream, although to, today it's zero drop frames, we have here uh, occurring issues with drop frames with our upstream here on this cable, Vodafone cable Germany docks this stuff here in the center of Berlin because yeah, stable, st stable 5 Mbit upstream would be too good for 2020 in the capital of Germany, heart of Europe, no less. But apparently US company is causing network issues here for telecom and our precious Vodafone cable. So we are not holding it wrong. We are not streaming it wrong. We are not Linux. Um, Routing it wrong, apparently. Liberty Global uh, providing services for Unity Media and UPC Austria, as well as other customers, causing network connectivity issues at Vodafone and Telecom there. Uh, the other day, so, so much to hear. Uh, global world, uh, global connectivity, <laughs> US companies providing infrastructure services for apparently German. IT companies, including not only Vodafone, but German Telecom of all German Telecom services. So some operative companies here of partners caused audit outages uh, on Monday. Um, some broadband services, uh, connectivity issues and stuff. So yeah, not making our drop frames up today, zero drop frames so much to that, but yeah. Um, so shared medium, so not only cable docks, the shared medium, all the a block on your street corner sharing your Cox cable, but on top uh, some other um, services there, um, 500,000 customers affected of yeah, streaming this, uh, connecting this um, global, um, global sharing connectivity, something routing this wrong. We have quite some um, comments there. Microsoft uh, gets rid of most of their testing department and more depending on telemetry. Yeah, also recurring theme 2020, big mega corporations like Microsoft and Apple and Google certainly of, of all the Chrome fame offloading beta testing to the customers because yeah, testing is too expensive, randomly changing C code in 2020, let the customer figure it out. Um, and um, 
attempt mounted no x exits why are oh, that's interesting that is hmm, maybe i should make this that is a good tip maybe you can make this um hold my uh, beer let's maybe do this at the end of the stream um so uh, thanks for that tip. that is a good idea um speaking about startups magic leaps cuts half of their jobs in major restructuring they are of ai fame and um Bloomberg support, support, uh, support reports here, daily technology newsletter of what? Yada yada, Magic Leaps Inc. Um, so yeah, two billions of high profile investors and then including Alphabet Inc. and Alibaba group holding and then cutting half of this workforce. I really wonder this, this concept of this kind of startups. Um, how can you run a startup? I have no words. Um, feeling really for this company and well to the investors yeah they burn their venture capital but uh, I certainly can cannot run my company well actually hmm, we tried to run an unsuccessful uh, YouTube channel but anyway thanks for sharing liking and subscribing but um, yeah speaking about trying unsuccessful stuff but um, doing AI of this kind of scale being that hyped and stuff and then yeah we have done it wrong and uh, whatever doesn't work out um, and also this concept of running companies as big as 1,000 employees. I mean, imagine what can you do with 1,000 employees? You can build an app operating system from scratch, a 3D engine, a game, and um, this burning off level is beyond my comprehension. But leave me in the comments below what you think. Um, I think they are one refocusing on, I think, business. I think this is like from, uh, was it business restructuring of... Um, winding down its consumer business. So yeah, I really wonder, I would, well, I, I wish them luck, but I have the feeling consumer might be more successful than business. I have the impression that selling um, AR to uh, augment, augmented reality or whatever to business might be even more difficult, um, like seeing uh, Google employees and call centers or uh, car manufacturing, Tesla, Volkswagen, and stuff, you name it, and or hotels and stuff. But um, yeah, anyway, um, but this also certainly means that AR is overhyped as it is right now. It's, um, yeah, not as successful as uh, people often talk to be speaking about AR and games and stuff. No thanks. Team Fortress 2 source code has leaked and can apparently get malware by playing it. So yeah, 2020 you get can get malware by playing it um, and also security by obscurity, right? I mean, they would have uh, hackers and crackers and stuff. Certainly would have found this exploit anyway. Uh, eventually uh, just disassembling it and de-daring it and idea proing it and uh, or just looking on the disassembly. So um, apparently uh, Valve said that uh, you, you can play it yourself, but uh, some people apparently commented that uh, this remote code uh, of, of whatever um, has where was this vulnerability or hacked off. Um, yeah, apparently leading to hackers reportedly able to deliver malware through, through remote code execution in uh, to other players. So yeah, uh, playing your favorite game and getting some remote code execution while uh, fracking other people than the 3D world. But this is certainly why I started this channel and spread the world because imagine getting, I mean, right now it's already with all the from OS updates to um, Apple, Microsoft, uh, Google, Chrome, Android, you name it, recurring theme here. Um, and then think even games and then also 3D drivers, right? So not only SQL injection in your firewall login, but also games and then just some other local uh, privilege escalation and uh, your whole machine is owned. Uh, certainly why some security researcher have the concept of cubes of having a virtual machine for each task. Certainly in this level of teams hacked by GIF uh, games hacked by <laughs> remote code execution. Leave in the comments what you, what you think. We certainly need really urgently change here something um, because with this state of broken IT, I have no idea how you want to run either Mac or Windows in some stable state. You name it. But leave in the comments below what you think. 
Speaking about this, fundamental issues with contact tracing, I had this in a previous video, I think I, my personal impression is it probably won't work very, very well because too much garbage, random data, garbage in, garbage out, garbage as in everyone at the bus stop, at the subway, at the supermarket, 10,000 of data points easily for someone just traveling a little bit through a bigger city area. So other experts here agree fundamental issues with contact tracing raised by Dutch experts must be addressed to show viability of DP3T project. And they write here, um, probably you want to read this uh, yourself, otherwise it gets too long. But yeah, other scientists raise major concerns um, before this can lead any major uh, success. But uh, leave me in the comments below what you think. Um, from my point of view, with just gathering, uh, also, I think this is also, by the way, very much that I think I read somewhere that the device, in at least on like the iPhone side, I read, I mean, certainly I don't have this here right now, but I read from others that the iOS implementation of Apple side needs to be on, like screen on, otherwise with like maybe even the, the contact tracing in the foreground. Let's, um, uh, do they have this here, but um, foreground or active? Uh, I'm not sure if this is the point of this, but in any case, it certainly makes I, I think I read this at least in the Australian implementation, but leave in the comments, um, leave in the comments what you think or your experience or guesstimation, but from my common sense with too much random data, because imagine someone is pos tested positive and reporting all the chain of 10,000 people uh, there of the last 14 days. Um, if not, if you travel New York on a busy day uh, in a subway and yeah, I mean just two subway cars, right? But even implementation details, I read the app in some implementations like even Apple's uh, iPhone, iOS, the app might need to be in foreground with a display active. I mean, you can't run around with the stuff foreground if this is true. And also additionally, um, that it's only sampling once a, uh, once a minute. Uh, maybe the Australian, I read there on Twitter from someone, sampling once a minute, I mean, it's like, how should this, I mean, this is not even, sampling random garbage once a minute is even less useless than sampling it always, but anyway, it's, it's hilarious. Um, anyway, speaking about this, how, uh, how bad is the state of security and IT and some presidents and stuff Apparently, 2020, uh, it is somewhat hopeless that the US Navy just confirmed UFO videos. So, uh, yeah, um, I, with this, I close my, my closing words. Um, even the US Navy agrees, yeah, nothing to see, whatever, UFOs, here you have it. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I uh, leave me in the comments below how, again, as usual, what you think to the topics. Um, or in general, how you think we can maybe make this uh, here better, this format to summarize it for you to learn with stuff to um, spread information, uh, warnings and stuff. Speaking about here, making the world a better place, let's quickly, um, let's mount. I've actually never thought about this, but this is why we, um, so much good already came from this and the other main YouTube channel you probably want to share, like, and subscribe on both and all of you and spread the world. Um, not only a lot of stuff done in our Linux, but even I learned many times of often uh, stuff, including this. Let's, um, so right now, probably let's just grab temp, not to expose here as usual, some stuff here live on this. Let's try to mount. So this is uh, obviously right now not, no exec and the graver is totally right that that doesn't need to be executable. So let's try that mount that of all remount no exec and that works and that has that no doesn't show no exec though um mode 755 mm, oh, wait a second i'm i've looked at the wrong line uh, there is no exec uh, so much to looking too much too many temp fs in 2020 um, so speaking of which, I slightly wonder, I think this shared memory was needed for whatever. That is a new thing since uh, only 10 years. Probably I should have commented for what this stuff is needed. Maybe, what was it? Uh, GLibc or GLibc Linux kernel changes a decade ago. So uh, how do we make this permanently? Um, we can make this permanently here in our 
base this files, or this, not this, but um, probably this should be, why did this not autocomplete? Ah, this is why I didn't autocomplete. Uh, so much to typing. So we have an etcfs tab. Uh, we might have two places. So this is one, <coughs> one, and so this is uh, not defaults, but um, I guess we. This is, might not even have effect. Um, slightly wondering if we can probably make this no exec, but uh, this is all often the case. Um, <coughs> one, no, it's, it's, uh, something. No dev sounds good. Let's copy that. Um, why not? And um, when the graver runs this, that probably, hopefully, doesn't have any regressions. But we certainly can do it like, oh, did I? No, I didn't. Um, we can certainly do it like, uh, it's not like we are do doing testing here. We certainly copy the best. That means Apple, Microsoft, Google. Let you test there along at home on your P3 and Octane and virtual machine. We might have more than one place. That is always a caveat of. Uh, yeah, fix it at one thing and testing, testing, testing. From experience, I already know this is not the only thing. We have it at least also in the installer. So this might be just an example file that is overwritten in the installer. And that is base maybe stone. And then in stone mod install, I guess there is some FS tab creation. No. Oh, damn, I'm a fat. Um, fingering today. Uh, oh, mod setup. Apparently, last on. And here might be another one. I slightly wonder why we've done it like this. Uh, maybe we should unify this that we have only one place of example documentation in that. Um, but whatever. Uh, this is fun. Some defaults and fallbacks. DevFS, I mean, DevFS, maybe while did we <laughs> remove this totally decade old outdated comment here? Of course, why not? Um, did I wait a second? I didn't even do this. It's all right. Um, so much to always uh, live here on some new stream. That probably should be that. Probably should check if we can do the same for dev sh shared memory because otherwise, the uh, next thing people use uh, dev. Shared memory for attacks. Um, probably I should check what this is used for and if we can do the same. Maybe the graver has more information live here. Um, so um, J, J American asked, what is this not, not no set user ID? So not, not no set user ID means you cannot set user ID root so that a normal user um, could. Well, actually, probably it's, uh, pr probably it's superfluous. Um, so what normally this means that you cannot set user ID something and run, elevate your privileges, for example, as the Xorg server in good old fashioned Xorg server fame. But um, probably that might be um, super close. Yeah, not, not really um, concerned about Java application also great fan about that. Um, but um, no exec, no def. Yes, yeah, so no def. Additionally, that you cannot create your own device nodes and um, run this stuff. That's certainly a good idea. I have the feeling no set user ID might be superfluous with no exec, but leave in the comments below if, if this is ne necessary. If so, then why? Additionally, on modern systems, um, I'm doing this in the T2 trunk down where I have so many changes as per usual um, because busy developer here and that was this files in and this, this file. I slightly wonder if we have this additionally um, in not only the mk init rd, which is also in base, in mk init rd, init rd, so because this might already be um, air. No, this is temp. Okay, so it's not and not started automatically in. Dev tempfs. I slightly wonder though. We probably want the same in dev tempfs, which, by the way, do, do you do this in dev slash temp? Because nowadays slash temp is the same, like the same as in yeah, same, nearly the same. But dev tempfs of the only difference is the kernel is already artificially creating those virtual device nodes from kernel k objects um, there automatically for you dev not to have to create them anymore. Um, the modern dev. FS fame, 
but um, yeah, probably because otherwise, what do I mean with this? I mean, if you don't do the same in depth, then uh, malicious stuff could misuse slash dev as in an, um, but okay, actually normal users should not be able to create stuff there. But anyway, but probably if you are root already, then you have probably other um, challenges, I guess. Um, set room for temp so I can compress it. That is also good, but yeah. Anyway, um, but set room is new. I need to kernel option and additional setup. So it's not as, as simple. I, by the way, I wonder why they never have made, I wish there would be a like compress argument, like as simple as temp fs with, with compress equals whatever, but that's not my kernel. We probably can do this in our micro kernel. So let's commit this and uh, hope that it's better. Of course, we commit this untested, similar to Apple and Google and whatever. You don't need to test it. You have your users. So with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing this tip. I hope it's a good one. Anyway, leave in the comments below as usual. As usual, um, what you think of anything of this, your tips and tricks of we have this. this files and uh, that was stone. So yeah, something whatever. And I slightly wonder if uh, whatever, something um, mount tempfs with by default, we can also call this improve security by mounting tempfs with something by default. Anyway, that's it for today. As usual, thanks for sharing those tips, but also this video. And I hope to see you soon for all the next videos and security vulnerabilities and updates to come on this and the more main channel.